Yo, what's up, happy people? Today is a unique day. That's my mom right there, if you don't know. That's Miss Betty. Um, I was actually gonna take the day off totally and just hang out with my girls, which I'm doing that anyway, but I'm gonna let y'all hang out with us also. There's Emma. Say hi, Em. There's Em, she's right there, she wants it. All right, what are we going to do? Go fishing. We're going fishing, that's right. Let me show you the type of gear I grew up with. Man, we always had just fishing poles sitting over here in the corner like that. Man, we'd get whatever we had. It didn't matter. It wasn't like, I mean, things you mix, match, broken uh, guides. See how this is? Broke tip, didn't matter. Our love for fishing did not run parallel with having amazing gear. Our love for fishing and hunting was just inside of us. Come on, Mom. How long have you and Dad had this house? Um, you was two years old when we moved into this house. 1978, y'all. We played more games of football and baseball out there than you could ever imagine. There was a fence right there, and any time you hit it over the fence, home run. So this was always our first stop. Pull right up here to Jupiter Bait and Tackle. That's the man right there. What's up? Yeah, we ain't here to get candy, crazy girl. Yeah, we are. Mom, do you remember what hooks we'd always get? Yeah, but I gotta look a minute. I haven't been in here in a long time. Number eight, long shank. I'll tell you. Look at her. Yeah, yeah, that's the size. You've got a rod and a reel. You've got your bait, hooks, split shots, and a cork. That was What's my total? Under $30 in your fishing. I promise you, your kids, don't care how much you spend. The time is worth everything. Next stop on the Price is Right, literally right next door is The Connection. This is our local sandwich shop. We've literally been getting subs here for over 30 years. No, more like uh, over 35 years. We never had a pile of money, so we would always come into The Connection, we would get one sub, and we would cut it into four pieces. It was always a roast beef sub. Teamwork makes the dream work. Look at that, y'all. Quarters. One sandwich, four happy people. And see, when we were kids, that was mom, Aubrey, me, Gabe. We are officially locked, cocked, ready to rock. We're gonna head up to the inlet, then we're going to do boys. We're gonna find a bunch of fish and have a good time. Thank y'all very much. Bye, bye, Cheers. Later. Okay, so that right there is where the connection used to be. But they moved back over there. There's an, it's over there a little ways now, but now it's called Nina's Fresh Bakery. This is US1. You see the lighthouse right over there. And I'm not, I'm not taking my eye off the road, but going over the US1 bridge, I always look left right here. Yeah, you see how rough the ocean is? That's why I'm not out fishing right now, because it's super, super rough, blowing 15, 20 knots. But anytime I drive by here, I can check the tide and just look at what's going on. But that's a, that's a little spot that I love passing by. That restaurant right there is called Schooner's. Schooner's Restaurant. That was my very first actual job. I was 14 years old. I was a busboy, Mark Lemoyne was the manager there. And I got fired for talking too much to all the tables. <laughs> Shocker. This is right down here. This is Jupiter Inlet. This is the south side of Jupiter Inlet. If you look way offshore, you see how rough it is out there? You zoom back, it doesn't look real rough right here. That's because the winds are out of the west and it's blowing offshore. See how the current is going from left to right? but it's still blue, which means it just started to go out. My dad's over at the condo right now. He's doing some work. I know he wants to fish with the girls. So we're gonna go to the condo, fish off the dock and see what we can't catch. This is just fishing as a family, making memories with my mom and dad and my girls. And if you wonder why Sarah's not here, she had a little operation on Monday and is recovering at home nicely. We were going to use a cork, but the wind is blowing into our face really hard. So we're going to use a lead, just a little lead, a little dropper rig. And if you want to know the truth, this is the exact same rig I was using when I did the stingray show. What that? Just to put that piece of shrimp right on that hook. And let's just throw it right 
out there. Good. Okay. Heck, y'all. I literally am sitting here trying to get real, real, real. Real, real, real. Reel it before he gets under the dock. Come on. Quickly. Reel him. Reel. What you got on there, honey? Reel it. Reel it. Come on. Reel it. Reel it. Reel it. Come on. Reel Ooh, it. You got a catfish. Reel it. Reel it. Okay. Okay. That's close enough. Put him up on the dock. Look at that, Aria. You caught a catfish. Leave yours out there, baby. I don't think you got them yet. No, Emma, you got one. Put it down. Emma, you got one. You got a fish. Look at Grandma. What do we got? Oh, it's going to be. It's a toady. It's a puffer fish. Get him up here. Tell your dad to get out of the way. We're going to throw him up on the dock. Tell him to get out of the way. Whoa. Whoa. Look at the size of that puffer! Oh, good job! Are you Emma. kidding me? Do you want to let him go or do you want to eat him? Let him go. You want to let him go? No, let's eat him. Say bye bye, fishy. Bye. Off he goes. Emma, give me five. Good job. Well, em, look at me. Hmm? Look at me. Those little puffers, they live on the edge of the sea walls and on, in, the, in the little shallow water, and they love to eat shrimp. Put, hold this and put your little finger, no, this finger. Just hold it right there, and you'll know when he's on there. And then you can reel it, your puffer in, or you may catch a snapper. Really? Are you kidding me, Em? Stand up. you got to fight that fish. What are you? It, oh, you got a sheep's head. Reel it. No reel way. It. Em, look at this. Really? That's really? a Come big on. old sheep's head. Oh my goodness, look at that beautiful fish you caught. Emma, he's pulling. Come on, reel, reel. Come on, reel. Look at this. We must have power hooked him, no? Oh boy. Pick him right up. Oh, look at that. Okay. Beautiful sheep's head and turn him loose. <laughs> now. Back in the day when me and Sarah lived in the condo right there, one day in particular, we were so broke, we had no money, we couldn't even go buy groceries that day. Sarah came out on the dock, caught a sheep's head just like that, came up and she cooked it for us for lunch while I was editing a video. Very special days, y'all. Like that old country song, and she thinks we're just fishing. This is life memories, y'all. Life memories. Are you kidding me? Mom is crushing us here. Get it, get it. You got another one? You got another one? You got another toady! Oh, hot dog, Emma. Let's throw him up on the bank. Reel down to him. Look at that! Let's put it down. Holy cow! Okay, Em. Let's let this one go and then we can keep some more fish later, okay? You want to keep this one? Yeah. Okie dokie, we're going to keep him. So she wants to cook this thing. We're going to keep him and uh, we're going to help the kids fry up some toady fingers. There's a fish over there. Yeah. Okay, Aria. <laughs> I told you. She can't hold him without sh shaking him. Hey, what happened? You just got root beer all over you. It's okay. And the floor. And the floor. Here, Em. Piece of sandwich. Mm. Oh, my gosh. This is so good, Aria. Emma. Talk about bringing back memories. Ma'am. Oh, it's big! Reel it, come on. It's big, are you? Come on, reel it. Oh, it's a, it's a humongous buffer! No way, reel it up here. Okay, tell your dad to get out of the way. We're gonna swim me up. Oh, oh this is a huge puffer. What? Are you kidding me? Good job, Aria. Put him in the pool. Dad, 
You want to eat him? Yeah. Oh man. Today is a huge success, no matter what happens. We're sitting here having a picnic, catching fish. You want some chips? Emma, are you having so much fun? Here's some chips. Dad, can you tell me about when you were the little boy? Can I tell you about when I was a little boy? When I was a little boy, grandma, my mom, no, don't, don't pound on your feet. She would bring me fishing just like this whenever I was a little boy. And we would eat roast beef sandwiches and peanut butter and jelly. And we would come fishing just like this for puffers and snappers and sheep's head and catfish, everything. What else? Dad, Dad. Huh? That looks like a wolf. Uh-huh. Clown, huh? I wish y'all would have seen this. This rod was just flying off the, the dock. Holy cow! Look at this! It's a mutton snapper! That is a mutton snapper! Are you kidding me? Oh, no way! Beautiful mutton snapper. In Incredible. Real, real, Emma. You got it. Come on, girl. Real. Reel your fish. What do you got, honey? It's something big. Yeah. Oh, something nice. Yeah. What you got, Dad? Do it. Here you go, Emma. Really? What is that? Oh. It's a big old huge croaker. Are you kidding me? Get him, Em. I don't want to. Get him. Are you kidding me? I can help. I'm let, let Aria help. Look at that. Look how big that croaker is. You got a little dip net. Hold on. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, what a nice fish. Boy, Emma, come look at this big fish. Look at that. You want him for lunch, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. Boy, that's a nice fish. Look at that fish, Aria. Dad, right here. Whoa. You're right there, huh? Grab, grab, got one. Get it, Aria. Really, man. Aria, give me a drink. What you got, Dad? Oh, really? it's got a huge toadfish. Come on, see what it is, Emma. I will now. Get it, get him out. Oh my goodness! It's a big Whoa. one! Look how big he is! Hold on. Here, hold on, Dad. Take Mom's little forceps and just... Look at that. Hold on, look at him. Hold on. Oh, look boy, at that. what a nice puffer! What color is those eyes, Emma? Uh, orange! Orange! Hey, y'all. We came out here. Caught a bunch of fish and had a great time. We've got toadies, we've got croakers, mutton snapper, sheep's head, sand perch, you name it. We did it all right here on the dock. Yes. No, no amount of money in the world would make this any better. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> hey, you want to go to the house and clean them up and cook them? Let's get some more. Oh, you want to catch some more, huh? Give me a kiss and we'll catch some more. Mm -hmm. <sighs> What kind of bird is this, are you? Uh, owl. It's an owl? Okay, hang on to that over there. Now, you guys, we are in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, of course. This is Aria. This is my oldest daughter. And we just got done fishing. Then I came back. Then we kicked up. <laughs> then I helped you. <laughs> Why are you being so crazy for? I just got done cleaning the croaker. And this is... And that's the puffer fish. <laughs> 
Oh gosh, if you're gonna clean a puffer, you wanna dry them off, okay? Take a little rag, dry them off like that. You can even use the rag to hold them. Here, now. Wait, what's the When you way? do that, that, that bone right here, not the skin, you're just gonna reach in there and grab that, and it'll just go pull, pull the whole thing right out. That's what you've left with. It looks like a chicken leg, huh? This is easy living. I've got the fish, I've got some peanut oil, and we're getting ready to make dinner for the girls. There's no better way for your kids or your spouse to enjoy eating fish or wild game with you than if they help catch it. Hey y'all, there she is, that's my mama. She's been cooking dinner for us for many years. That's one of my favorite things that she makes. That's a macaroni salad with little shrimp, eggs, celery. Only thing you could put in there to make it better would be what? Lobster. This is another thing she makes right here that is amazing. Back up. Woo, look at that. Homemade southern cornbread. So we've got corn on the cob in the can cooker. Mom's cooking the pancakes, the little cornbread. We got fish, we got macaroni salad. That's a meal fit for a king. I typically don't eat my fish and meat well done, but my mom, she will absolutely cook it. But there's something about fried fish that's cooked really well done. It gives it a nice, I like it. So I'm just letting mom do her thing in the kitchen, you know? All right, y'all, so that's it. Pretty simple. Nice meal. You were interesting when my mom get better and happy and let Jesus know where my purse is. And thank you for trying on for instance. And let us be together and happy and healthy tomorrow. And let us be at with dad and mom and grandpa. And amen. 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 You did a good job, eh? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Emma's going to look for mama. No, Emma, come here. Okay. One of the cool things about Aria is every night whenever we say our, our prayers at bedtime and at dinner, she wants to say the blessing and it's cool because she honestly She's praying for mom, who's in the bedroom over there, like recovering from surgery, and prays to be happy and healthy in the morning. And thanks God for dying on the cross for our sins. Like, really amazing stuff that a three-year-old thinks about. I don't tell her to say that. It's really cool. To have these toadies, they're just like little fingerling, like, like drumsticks. Mm. Amazingly good fish right off the dock. Having a great time. What are you doing over there? Helping Sarah? Yes. Look at that. That's that croaker. Here. Man, look at that. Cast iron skillet peach cobbler. This whole meal is southern goodness. That croaker is amazing. It's real good. It's amazing. Oh, look how snow white that is. And flaky, real flaky. Mm -hmm. I'm glad your fingernails are clean. I zoom right in well, on them. Well, I do have some pepper underneath this one. Could be dirt, but I know it's pepper. Mm -hmm. Eat some food, are you? So, if you guys enjoyed it, drop a thumbs up, leave a comment, let us know what you think and hopefully we have something cool in the very near future. But for now, that's all I got for you. Take care, God bless, and we are. Oh